Organ of hearing, small ear model. The inner ear. The most important part of the auditory structure is the membranous labyrinth. The membrane, membranous labyrinth is enclosed in the op, osseous bony labyrinth. The osseous labyrinth is itself enclosed in the bony pyramid known as the petrous portion of the temporal bone. The inner ear consists of three major regions, the vestibule, the semicircular canals, and the cochlea. All three of these regions are located in the petrous portion of the temporal bone, and all three regions contain the osseous and membranous labyrinth. The vestibule, number 12, forms the point of union of the semicircular canals and the cochlea, and it is important in static equilibrium. The oval window, the stapes attaches to the oval window. It's labeled number 11 and is covered by the stapes and leads into the vestibule. This area is the vestibule. The round window, number 14, is covered by the stapes, I'm sorry, is enclosed by a delicate membrane, the secondary tympanic membrane, and leads to the cochlea. So we have the oval window with the stapes, and then underneath we have the round window. If it were tagged on the small ear model, you would find the round window here. And just to see the relationship of it, the oval window, round window, oval window, round window. The three semicircular canals function to determine dynamic equilibrium. They are the anterior semicircular canal, which is tag number 15, with anterior impula, or the bulbinous portion of this bone, the impula. The lateral semicircular canal, with lateral impula, and the posterior semicircular canal, with posterior impula. They are labeled 15 for the anterior semicircular canal, 16 for the lateral semicircular canal, and 17 for the posterior semicircular canal. The cochlea is this spiral shell shaped, number 18. The cochlea. The inner surface of the osseous labyrinth is loosely bound to the membranous labyrinth by fine connective tissue strands and encloses some fluid. Perilymph, which surrounds the membranous labyrinth, inside the membranous labyrinth, is, there's also a fluid called the endolymph. So the endolymph is inside and the perilymph is on the outside. The vestibulocochlear nerve, number eight, is tagged number 19 on this model and it goes to the brain. It passes through the oval orifice of the internal auditory meatus from the labyrinth. And we will look at that right here. Again, that's the vestibulocochlear nerve number eight as it comes out the oral oval orifice of the internal auditory meatus. The vestibular branch emanates from the vestibule and semicircular canals, while the cochlear branch emanates from the cochlea. So right here you have the cochlear branch, and over here you have the vestibular branch. The internal carotid artery is tagged as number 20 and is visible as it passes through the temporal bone.